it's Renee for Sunny here and I am back with a vlog video. It's been a little while since I've done one. I have been really feeling down so I haven't really had the energy to do a vlog video but I really wanted to talk about an event I went to recently called Acon. I had the absolute privilege and honor of going to Acon with the lovely Black Betty cosplay and they invited me to be really just a friend there but um, they were allowed to have like a handler and so I took that role and then my husband came along and so uh, we were all hanging out at uh, Acon and it was so much fun it was so amazing um, <clears throat> if I'm being blunt I was honestly exhausted the whole time but I've been super exhausted everywhere lately so it was it was really hard to keep high energy while there but I had so much fun and um, I just wanted to kind of talk about it a little bit like first things first Acon if you are watching any person who runs staff or guesting I just want to say I had a blast and I think the panels that we ran the people had a blast and I think it was really fun and I would adore if maybe you can invite back a plus size black cosplayer like myself as a guest that would be really really fun and really really awesome and I can keep bringing awesome fun times with Betty if you invite us both back but yeah uh, I, I wasn't invited as a guest I was simply a, a, a co-host of sorts but if you'd like to invite me as a as a guest that'd be awesome and moving on um, <laughs> so so it was it was really really a blast and I had so much fun um, hanging out with Betty and my husband uh, we were really going from place to place really fast because there were so many panels we had to do uh, and I helped with the majority of the panels the one thing that I really, really noticed, and maybe it's because I live in Vegas and, and, and I go to Vegas, Utah, um, um, California, and Arizona cons, um, there were a lot of black cosplayers, like a lot of black cosplayers, and they were all doing variations of cosplay as themselves, and it was really cool to see, like there was this person who was doing the Riddler, and they had their locks in, and it was like a hoodie, and it was a gas mask, and it looked so cool, and there were so many people who had braids and Afrocentric styles for these characters, and I never get to see that, and I don't know if that's because over the time of the pandemic, black cosplayers have been on a rise, or if Texas is just a lot more diverse but like it, it was crazy to see because I don't experience that a lot and don't get me wrong there are black cosplayers here in Vegas and there are black cosplayers in California and stuff but it was just like every corner I turned you know it wasn't like a after 20 white cosplayers you might see a black cosplayer it was all so integrated and there's so many and it, honestly it was very inspiring it was really cool to go to a con and have other people be like oh my god you know and and be excited about seeing your cosplay because i did a braided ariel the last day and there were so many people who actually know knew what i was doing even though i thought the costume would be a little casual and it wasn't exact to ariel but a lot of people knew my husband were doing me and my husband were doing eric and ariel and it, it was really refreshing you know uh that everybody seemed like so excited to see each other and like i said i don't know that that's because we had a pandemic and no cosplayers were really allowed around each other for a long time so conventions coming back were like woo but it, it was it was really refreshing and really nice um a con i had at the con the mask rule was not enforced at all and i feel like it was just an issue uh it, it's hard to force everybody to wear masks when people aren't listening but it's even harder when the own security of the convention center don't care you know and they weren't wearing masks and then on top of them not wearing masks there were some staff members i saw with the acon shirt and staff and and badges that were not wearing masks either so if your own staff and the staff of the convention center don't follow the mask rule uh, of the convention itself because I uh, because mask mandates have been dropped all over the place it's not necessarily a rule for the convention center but the con itself said that they would enforce mask mandate and no one like there were a lot of people wearing masks but there were so many people not wearing masks and then it's like it's okay if you're with your friends you pull down your mask for a second to eat or you're hanging out with your friends so you take your mask off for a second but there were people just walking around blatantly no mask not caring you know and that was that was kind of probably the, the part that was a little like 
okay, this is not really being enforced or pushed, and that made me feel a little uncomfortable. Now, don't get me wrong. The con was still really, really fun, and it was still really open, but, you know, stuff like that, it, it, it's, it's a little terrifying, you know, because even there was a COVID warning after con, and I got checked, and I'm negative. I do not have COVID. My husband is good. Uh, Betty is good. We're all good after con, but it was scary you know because i was around one of the people who said that they caught covid so like you know that's that's really stressful especially and that person was wearing a mask so it's even scarier i don't know if they were wearing a mask outside of the area they were in but they were wearing a mask when i met them so it was a little scary you know to come home and then find out that uh, but I'm good and I'm happy. I do wish that more cons would probably be a little more strict about it I'm a little worried about some cons I'm going to in the future like I'm going back to Texas soon uh, And I'm worried that uh, bonsai in October will not enforce a mask mandate at all um, Because there's a lot of places that just don't care, you know, they think COVID is over They think it's all done and we're getting better because vaccines and stuff But those same people won't take vaccines or those same people aren't actually doing anything to help prevent the spread of COVID So you can't prance around acting like it's over and you haven't even helped stop it, you know But either way, I digress. That could be a whole other video of feelings for me. The convention was the most diverse and fun con that I've been to in a very long time. And we didn't even go to Masquerade. Um, they had a little photo booth set up and that was really cool. I got to meet up with uh, quite a few of people that I know online and I wish there was more that I could have met up with. But I got to meet up with some people who are really good friends with me online and they were so sweet and so cool. And it was, it was like, I'm a really nervous person and I'm really anxious so so being around people who have been so kind to me online and then in person they're just as kind as they are online even if for a split second it, it felt really really nice and it felt really really good to meet these people and, and not feel like strangers you know because sometimes you meet with people that you know online and it feels like you don't actually know who you're talking to you know but it felt really like at home. And most of the people that I met with that I know online through TikTok or Twitter or whatever, they noticed me immediately. There wasn't a pause of like, I have no idea who you are. It was just straight up a midnight. And I felt like so, I felt so welcomed. And, I, and it was truly, really, really great. And I'm, I'm just really, really over the moon about it. Um, there were so many good cosplayers there too and it was so beautiful and I really really dream that I can travel more to different cons and spread positivity and 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 just 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 go away from like Vegas and and California all the time because I'm not gonna lie to you Vegas and Cali feel like budget pa budget <laughs> Vegas and Cali seem like beauty pageant cons you know, if you don't look exactly like the character or like the most like prettiest person in the world, you don't really get that same love and attention that you should. There are small cliques of people who love everyone regardless, you know, but it feels very beauty pageant here and and in Texas and and other places that I've gone to. Like Utah is an exception. Utah is very friendly, it's very, very, you know, loving, but it's also well, being blunt, it's very white, so I don't feel as welcomed in a space of people who look like me, you know? So it's not that Utah is bad, but it's that I don't feel like anybody really would, you know, fit in with me, you know? But um, it, it's, it's crazy to be in a place where it just feels like everyone's pretty cool with one another, you know? So I really hope I can experience that more and it is a dream to travel and guest at cons and I'm hoping that one day, one day I'll get that dream to be a guest at a convention. I've been panelists and invited to do like panels and getting free tickets like that but I've never gotten to be a guest, like a, a guest of honor and be like a person that people have come to see and that's kind of like the dream one day. But first I need cons to actually answer the emails I send them. So 
<laughs> uh, anyway, Acon was a blast. It was so much fun hanging out with Betty. It was so much fun meeting new people. It was fun doing the panels, even though I was nervous. But I, I can at least say I think a lot of people thought it was funny. And I do tend to cover up that anxiousness with humor. So <laughs> I'm really, really happy that everybody was like really excited uh, and thought I was funny and had fun. So yeah. I guess that's really all I have to say. Uh, Akon was a blast, and I really hope I can go back next year, hopefully as a guest. But I really hope I can go back next year regardless, even if it means that I'm a co-host with Betty again, or we save up money to go if we can. But that was so much fun. It was such a blast. So here's the Akon. That was really great. Um, so I'm, of course, holding on to my badge and putting it in my box of badges to collect all the cons that I've gone to. Yeah but so much fun. And I'm excited that I get to go to DreamCon once again as a handler and a co-host to my best friend Subaru Kamui and I'll be going with them um, to kind of help take pictures and keep them sane because we are, we're kind of like a package duo sometimes if we're not together at a con. It feels really awkward not to be together. So I'm going to DreamCon with Subaru and that's going to be really fun. But my husband's not coming so it's going to be also a little nerve wracking for me because I haven't traveled on a plane or traveled too far without him by my side. So it's going to be a little nerve wracking but I think I'll be fine because my bestie's going to be there. So. That's pretty much all I have to say about Econ. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, like this video. If you like me, subscribe. Um, don't forget, as a side note, if you ever want to see me at a guest at a con, if you ever want to see me as a guest at a con, you can email your local con, you can email, you know, conventions and say, hey, Midnight Persona's a really cool person, you should invite her to this con. And, you know, see if they would check me out. And Or if you have con suggestions that you'd like to see me go to, feel free to comment down below. And, you know, I would love to show up at these conventions and do guest appearances and everything. And I'm still praying and hoping for that first guest appearance. So, one day, a big plus-sized black cosplayer will get her chance in the light to be a guest at a con and spread positivity and joy and I can even bring e Isabel <laughs> so if you want to see that feel free to comment below so thank you guys for watching and I appreciate you guys so much and hopefully I can get back into the groove of things making YouTube videos again because I do miss it but oh boy have I been so stressed and tired lately and sometimes it's not, like, I don't feel like putting on makeup to get in front of a camera, so that's a problem, too. But I digress. Thank you guys for being here. And remember, you are loved, you are amazing, and you are wonderful in every way, shape, and form. Bye, guys.